What's up YouTube? This is Daddy D2011 with a jailbreak for 5.0.19A405, not the beta version. And uh, I'll be doing it with Snow Breeze. Um, I'll have a link in the description bar where to get the Snow Breeze at. Or you can check out my other video, the one that you know uh, was a little confusing probably. Anyway, um, you'll be downloading um, Snow Breeze with a zip file and unzipping it. Okay, get in here. okay, this is a tethered jailbreak, so it is a two part jailbreak. Okay, I mean, considering that you got all your errors out of the way, double click Snow Breeze, click yes. Okay. Yada yada yada. So if you paid for it, you should get your money back because it's free. Click OK. Um, clear the credits. Okay. Uh, down here in the right hand corner, click. Mm, browse. You're going to have to have your uh, IPSWs for 5.0.1. I will have a link in the description bar. Um, I already have mine downloaded and uh, this process that you're doing right now is to get a custom IPSW Okay, as you can see I already have my custom IPSW right here Okay, that is my custom IPSW that I got but well, here's the IPSW you'll need For this to work, okay now see it's identified my iPod 4. I don't even got it plugged in, but it knows that's what I picked, and there's IPSW verified. Okay, I'm going to click next. I'm going to use simple mode on this, so I don't know how that's what I'm doing it on. Okay, it's gonna ask you if you want to play Pac Man or just watch the spinner. We'll just watch the spinner. This is going to install Insidia. Um, and make that custom IPSW for you as as well as download iBooty. iBooty is the second half of this jailbreak. Um, when you do all this, you should have a Cydia app and it should be white, you know, um, can't use it, can't do nothing with it. Okay. So, let's just run for a few minutes, see what it show you what it does a little bit. Uh, and then, uh, I'll go on to the second part, the iBooty part. And like I said, my iPod is not plugged in. I'm not doing this to my iPod at the current moment. It has already been done. And it is possible. Anyway, here in a few, this thing will say that it is installing Cydia. Boom. Half up when you're almost all the way through done with that, this will pop up on your desktop. Okay, iBooty. I booty, like I said, is the second half of this jailbreak. Um, you will have to put your phone into or iPod into DFB mode again and plug it in. You may not even have to put it in DFB, you just plug it in, select device, iPod touch 4, blah blah blah, and start. This, okay, you put it in DFB mode again. Okay, and this will finish the jailbreak. If you do not do this part, iBooty part, it will not, uh, you will not be able to use your city app whatsoever. So you have to use iBooty. And like I said, it downloads automatically onto your desktop once um, the, custom I, the custom IPSW firmware has been made and city has been installed on your phone. Okay, now see it says decrypting root files, and it's making this IPSW without my iPod even connected. Um, I had my iPod connected when I did it, remind you. Um, yeah, I, I prefer having it plugged in. It's got to read stuff off your iPod, I would say, to do this properly, in case you know something just came up. And that, that's pretty much it. Like I said, um, once it makes your custom IPSW, okay, now let's get back to this part. Okay, when you get your custom IPSW, 
you will have to go into iTunes. Okay, before you do this iBooty, before you do iBooty, I repeat, before you do iBooty, you must go into iTunes, okay, um, with your phone in DFU mode, okay, your phone must be in DFU mode before you plug it into iTunes, so iTunes will need, say you need to restore, you will hold the shift button and click on restore, it will ask you for your firmware, you will use the Snow Breeze firmware that they have already custom for you. It will, okay, <clears throat> when you do this, it will restore it to 5.0.14 over 5. When you're completely done with the restore on iTunes, that's when you will use the iBooty, okay? iBooty is the last step to jailbreaking. You must do the Snow Breeze custom IPSW. You must do the restore on iTunes, and then the iBooty to finish the uh, jailbreak. And the, like I said, this is a tether jailbreak, so meaning every time your uh, device powers off, you will have to use iBooty to restart it. Um, I hope this cleared things up a little bit for you, since I didn't do the errors. I did errors in their own video. Um, I will be releasing some basic tweaks later on this evening um, to your iPod and stuff like that because I know I had a few problems I tried some and they didn't work and some do work so thank you don't forget to comment um, subscribe let me know if you like this video if I'm you know if they work or not this is like third or fourth video here so you know thank you